So we wanted a good reading lamp for the reading chair in the living room. And I was thinking to myself, what makes a good reading light? Well, first of all, it all kind of comes down to the quality of the light, don't you think? I mean, if you go to one of the big box stores and you pick up a cheap, like, $30 reading lamp, chances are it's not going to be that great, especially if the lights are, like, embedded in the lamp. Um, they are going to use pretty junky lights. And if you want, like, a high CRI, really nice light, um, you're really better off making it yourself. But let's say you want to go out and buy a nicer floor lamp. Um, looking here, these look really great, but, you know, if it's three, four hundred dollars and up. Um, and then you have to get a light bulb for these. Uh, so then you want to get a high CRI light bulb if you want to have it for reading. And that's actually kind of tricky to find as well. So then you're out like, what, like 350 or something like that. And I don't want to spend that much money. And then I was thinking, well, I also want it to be like really high where you can sit down in the chair and the light comes above you, like comes down. And then you have a shade where the light doesn't come upwards over the, the lamp, it's all forced downwards. So you get all that light coming downwards. And then I also want it to be pretty cheap um, and easy to make, where you can use like some scrap parts and you know, a couple of cheap things you can pick up um, and then make you know, something that looks really good and like it belongs. But most importantly, something that works really well. Something where you can sit down and you can read for hours and hours and uh, your eyes don't get tired, you can see really well making a very effective, very high quality lamp for reading. So that's what we're gonna do here. This Ooh, is the bad one. That's horrible. So you can really God, see the difference. It's so green. It's interesting. I mean, if you compare uh, different, different strip lights, there is a major difference. Like here's a test we did a, a while back um, on some regular LED strips. And here I would say the CRI is like, I don't know, around 70 maybe, um, something like that. Not that great. Um, and we're using the lights here to illuminate this little Lego car here. Uh, and then uh, testing out these brand new lights that we just bought. Um, and these are really high quality lights. These are 95 um, CRIs, which is, you know, really high. So here you can see the difference between the two different quality LED lights. Um, and, and when you're looking at it like side by side like this, you really get an appreciation for um, how very different uh, the light is as it shines. So these are called uh, Quadro. They are 24 volt LEDs and they're definitely a little expensive at like $89 a roll, but I mean, you're only using like a foot for this project, so you could make a ton of lights with it. Um, the lights are really densely packed, so we're cutting them into smaller sections and soldering together uh, just to distribute them a little bit more. Now let's start working on the shade and using some leftover oak boards um, here, both for the shade and the bottom piece, that's going to weigh the whole unit down and securing uh, the wood here with some tape and CA glue and then cutting out uh, a middle section on the CNC. But you could certainly use a handheld router for this and make a jig. Uh, the idea is to create kind of a lip where the lights can be sunk down. and uh, here flattening the base and cutting it into a circle with a hole in the middle where the leg can go. And uh, this piece of wood here was so thick that the cut needed to be finished on the bandsaw. Of course, it's nice to have such a thick piece of wood to work with, uh, but if you don't, you could certainly just glue together some pieces, even like framing lumber. Uh, the idea is to get something with a bit of a mass so that it secures the whole lamp down.
Now for the leg part, we're using PVC. First I was looking into copper, um, but large diameter copper wasn't even in stock in our local stores, and it gets pretty expensive, you know, the, the larger the pipe gets, whereas PVC and PVC connections are so cheap. So I, that actually uh, worked out. Here is the dimmer switch, um, and you can pick this up for like four bucks. Um, and this is fitting into the elbow piece. So doing a little cutting here to get it to sit in there uh, where the dimmer switch is accessible. So the idea is that the lights will be attached to one side of the shade and then the wiring of course needs to go through it into the PVC pipe which connects to it and that's what this hole is for. Here is a little clearer uh, picture. So you see the elbow connection going into the wood and connecting to a straight piece. Of course, the other nice thing about PVC is that it's really easy to work with, cuts really easily, etc. Okay, so here is the shade and some aluminum, which the lights will attach to. Um, and this is nice because it also works as a heat sink. And uh, while that's drying, time to spray the PVC parts uh, with some paint and using some matte black spray paint here. And the key to getting a nice surface is multiple thin coats and avoiding any drips. Okay, so drilling through the aluminum so the wires can get fed through. And here are the lights again. As you can see here, it really doesn't look like a whole lot of lights. They're pretty far separated. But each section is so bright, so together they'll provide a lot of light. And then once they're all glued on, it's time to solder on the last pieces of wires that'll connect them through. And just holding the wires down in place here with some hot glue, uh, which works really well. Now for the dimmer switch, uh, we thought it would be nice with a wooden knob uh, to kind of match and to give you something more substantial to hold on to when you are dimming it and turning it on. So doing a little turning here. And here's the base and just drilling a hole through into the center hole so the wires can connect. Adding a barrel plug and then that can connect to a power supply. And just using a basic 24 volt power supply uh, for this light. And uh, then doing some final soldering and putting everything together. Attaching the dimmer switch here. And of course, continually testing to make sure uh, the lights are still working so you don't have anything at loose at any one point. And using some epoxy to attach the PVC pipe to the wood. Because uh, if you want a strong connection, you really can't go wrong with epoxy.
Now feeding everything through um, and soldering the wires from the barrel plug into the base to the main wires and then feeding it all through into the pipe. You know, everyone in our family have been using this lamp now for a couple of weeks um, and it's been really great. Now, when the light is turned up high all the way, it draws about 10 watts. So not bad at all. It's really nice coming down there at night um, and turning the lamp on and bring your book and just get a little bit of quiet time. and. Uh, um, it's been really really great. Uh, I mean, I've been sitting I've been reading for hours and my eyes haven't hurt at all So it has definitely filled the function of, of being good for reading. It is very bright Which is really good. You know your eyes don't get tired uh, when you sit for a long period of time and read because that, that's the thing if you have a lamp that's a little bit on the dark side or the the, the quality of the lights not that good your eyes get kind of tired but that doesn't happen with this lamp. So I would say that was like a big success point uh, right there. So we're really happy about it. So yeah, and all the, the links to all the products that I used will be listed in the description. I want to say a big thanks to my patrons for supporting my channel and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Um, it makes a big difference. So thank you so much. And thanks to all of you who are watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the project uh, in the comments below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.